More than 40 people from the community poured into the Nacogdoches High School Commons Thursday evening to learn more about the school district's Community Facilities Committee. We have an idea about when we ought to move forward with this bond. We believe that it ought to be in November 2015. Uh, but we want to hear from the community because, you know, the main thing we have to know is uh, how to proceed. So this is the first step in the process of getting 100 people to serve on the committee. If, if you're a taxpayer in Nacogdoches ISD or have been, then you pay for these schools and you pay for them to move forward. So they belong to you. During the summer, the committee will visit Nettie Marshall, Emmeline Carpenter, and T.J. Rusk Elementary Schools and evaluate the campus's conditions. In his address to the community tonight, Dr. Hayes focused on three key areas that he's concerned about. First is safety, the safety of the children who are going to school in portable buildings as well as being open to the outside community. Secondly, he focused on capacity. He said this year, Nacogdoches Independent School District has set a record for enrollment for the elementary schools. More than 3,400 kids are packed into their schools. And thirdly, he focused on the efficiency of some of these buildings. Some of these elementary schools are more than 50 years old. And he said that the heating, ventilation, and cooling, and some of the lighting fixtures there are not energy efficient. And also, there are some plant operations that need to be addressed. Those are some of the same community concerns. There's still a projection or a thought of another elementary school that would alleviate the capacity problem, that would help with the problem with the temporary buildings. So Again, it's going to be a discussion that I would encourage you to, to be involved in, but our thought right now is that we would consolidate those facilities out in that property, again, that we have out by low. So these kids are going to be out of elementary in 